We are live right here on the Steinmetz family farm. <laughs> I'm out here just enjoying my tack room. I'm looking around at all the hard work that went into to all the organizing and wow. Like look at this. These are like <laughs> I got myself drawers, professional looking stuff here. Everything is all put together so nicely. I'm gonna be able to find everything. It's pretty amazing. Let me clean this lens off just a little bit. Well, anyways, good morning, people. How are you? Cindy, Susan, Brandy, Larla69, Roberta, Judy, R. Cruz, Regina, I'm assuming, Aline, and Hubbard, Hendrick. <laughs> That's how I say your name. Hennitra. Hey, I don't have a marker to draw. Uh, I don't have anything to draw anything here. I got to put some notes up there, right? Howdy doody, everybody. Good morning. The sun is beaming up this morning. I'm locked inside of here. Let's take a look before I make my coffee. I am going to make my coffee. But here's what I want to tell you right now. I want to look. See? Right now, I'm looking at the sun with my phone. Hi, Macy. Hi. Good morning. I'm losing my voice just a little teeny bit. A lot of, a lot of Boston people around lately. Hey, going for a ride? Macy, you have a chicken on your back. Macy, hey. Whatever. She's got a chicken on her back. Free ride. Hey, Joy. Hi, Alice. Yvonne. There, goes, there they go. Off into the sunset, off into the sunrise. Look at that. <laughs> Anyways, what I wanted to say was, look, I am looking at the sun through my phone right now. I could not do that if I was not looking at my phone. I would burn my eyes, right? We can't look. As humans and as animals, we cannot look directly into the sun. It's too bright. So what does that tell you? Macy is due in May. Yes, she is. I'm getting distracted here. <laughs> um, that means later on today, if you're in the total eclipse, if you're in the... Hey, Devin, what's going on? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> later on today, we're having a solar eclipse, right? But if you're not in the path of totality, you're not going to see the entire effects of the eclipse but don't go spending your money on these crazy glasses and all of this stuff just use your phone look at the eclipse through your phone look it's already here it's already done your your specialty glasses are here now now that that said we can see how much dust is all over our donkey <laughs> That's a dusty donkey. Hey, Vanessa, how you doing? Sarah Young sent $4 super sticker. Th thank you so much. There is still a chicken on Macy's back. What the heck is going on? Whoa. Whoa. So what, looking at the sun gives you a headache through your phone? Yes, okay. So if you want to see it in real life, right? If you actually want to experience it in real life, get yourself the glasses. I mean, I, I, I still say it's real life. But here's the deal. Oh, another ride. We're getting free rides all over the place. Free rides all over the place. Here's the deal, guys. Let's make my coffee. Um, the Eclipse, I'm not in the total path of... Total, I'm not in the path of totality. So I'm only going to see a partial Eclipse. If you're not within that 100 and... 15 mile range that 115 to 20 mile range path you're not going to be in t you're not going to see the entire thing it's not going to be a perfect perfect eclipse that's only going to happen to the path i think mindy might be in the path i am trying to figure out how to open this up i have not opened this yet i put water in it okay that's good Wait. Oh, there we go. I got it. I think Mindy is in the path. So around 3.15 her time, 
today she should schedule a live and everyone should tune in um okay so here we go i got my new k-cup um and the cool thing is if you want to look at the eclipse without fancy glasses and your phone you can it's safe only when it's 100 percent covered by the moon so what's happening today is the moon is actually going between the earth and the sun right that is a solar eclipse the opposite happens when the sun is behind us the moon is this way and the earth comes between the two paths that way um i'm looking for a bottle time to make the goat milk and my coffee i know i'm i'm acting like a, a an expert on eclipses but i'm not i'm just only i'm fascinated i'm fascinated by it so 2017 I was with it was in August and I was with my wife and I was with my kids and guess where we were we were on a boat out on Blue Marsh the Blue Marsh Lake and we were swimming and we knew it was coming so I had gotten myself a whole bunch of lenses uh, uh, welding lenses little square welding lenses and we brought them along and we set anchor and we waited for the eclipse to come and it was amazing. I don't think we were in the path of totality, but we definitely got a really good view of the um, of the thing. See, if you're directly in that path and it blocks out completely, it's going to be dark. It is going to be dark in the middle of the day where you're at. If you're just outside of that path of totality, it's not even going to be dark it's the shadows might change a little bit but it's still gonna feel just like daytime uh, but if you're in that path it's gonna be dark you'll be able to see stars during the daylight and you're gonna feel a temperature change I wish I was right in that band right in that pathway because that would be that would be amazing so I really hope Mindy does a live or schedules an event so we can watch it all on hers because I'm not going to be able to, you know, not, I'm not right down the middle path. Not going to be fun. I mean, it's still going to be fun, but it's not going to be as fun. It's all about, I, I thought maybe I'll drive six hours north just to go see. Okay. So if you guys missed it, my wife put together this amazing tack room for me. It was already a tack room, but her and... Some of the volunteers got together and organized all of the stuff. I've got medical card. I've got all of my things nicely in order. Uh, Jeff swears I'm going to have it disorganized in one week from now. I don't think so. I think I'm going to be good. <sighs> Hello. Good morning, everybody. Oh, I only need to drive three hours north to get there. Okay. Well, maybe I'll drive three hours north. I got way too much stuff to do to drive three hours north to see this. Um, I'll be in the partial eclipse, uh, and along with most of you guys. There's only a, a slim few of you that are going to get get the complete thing. Look at this. I have coffee inside my tack room. Ooh. Guess what else I have? Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. I got coffee creamers and I got sweeteners. So I can throw a little bit of sugar in here. All right, we're going to make my coffee. Then we're going to go also go feed the baby goat butterscotch. Butterscotch, butterscotch. Let's go. There we go. Um, and if you need extra nipples or anything like that, we are loaded up. Look. We have enough nipples to last us forever. It looks like we need maybe a, just a couple more bottles. Luckily, I did bring one out from inside the house, so I got my bottle. Oh, duh, I heated it up in a bottle. <laughs> uh-huh. Guess I won't need one of these. You out there, buddy? Hey, Jeff. I'd like to tell you something. I have a funnel on my face. That's an inside joke. <laughs> it's 
There's a lot of things you can invent with this. I just got to tell you that. There's a lot of things you can invent with a funnel. Hello, Jeffrey. Like a speakerphone. Hello. He dared me to do that. Jeff dared me to do that. So I did it. All right, my coffee's good. I'm drinking out of my my you sucker uh, cup. And we're just about ready to go feed butterscotch. So let me add my sugar. And my little creamers. There we go. I even have a trash can in here. How e I'm going to spend a lot of time in here. This is going to be the, the new man cave. I'm going to try out one of these rubber nipples today. One of these blue and red ones. These are lambing lambing nipples. Xcal makes them. They're really strong. The problem we had before with the nipples when we bottle fed is those red ones are weak and the goats, if they just chewed out a little bit, would make chunks come out of it. Alright, coffee. Sorry for the slurping. Oh. Who sent us this, by the way? I feel like I won a Golden Globe Award. <laughs> It is quiet in the tack room, isn't it? Yeah, the chickens and everyone needs to stay out of my coffee today. So I'm going to leave my coffee right here, and I'm going to go feed the baby. Two sips of coffee. Let's go. Are we ready? Butterscotch. So today the weather's going to be nice. I'm actually going to take butterscotch and mama, and I'm going to lock them out there in the outside pen. Um... Well, butterscotch, chocolate, and vanilla, so all three of the babies. Along with Mama Lottie. Butterscotch, come on. Oh my gosh, here she comes. She comes a-running. She comes a-running. Oh, I got it. I'm going to go over here. Let me, let me go over here. Next to the water. Let me find a place to set my phone down. Burda, 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 burda. Hey, you can't jump on my back, guys. Doesn't work. Oh. Okay. Here we go. It's a new, it's a new nipple, honey. It's gonna feel a little different. Oh, we got it. What? Are you, <laughs> I think the chicken is looking for a. Hi, hi everybody. Good morning, all my children. Good morning, my kids. And my chicken. Hi, Miss Henny. I call her Henny. So the girls are in here, the, the hens are in here because they were the favorites uh, and they had lost a lot of feathers. Oh, we're knocked down. Oh gosh, sorry. Uh, they were the favorites from the roosters and they kept getting attacked. Not attacked, but. It was very bad for their backs, and we needed their backs to get a rest. So their feathers are growing back right now. Okay. Okay. Mama, greedy. It's not for you. You don't get milk. You were the milk producer. Oh, my gosh. Even keep the... Camera's great. There we go. Oh, 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 there we go. Look, Mama. Hey, chocolate, your butt's in the camera view. Your butt's in the view. There you go. Big fat belly. Hi, guys. Hello. Okay, would you like to just climb on me and get it over with? Go ahead. Come on. Climb on me, get it over with. <laughs> Hi. <coughs> Ew, I stuck my finger in chicken poop. <coughs> Go ahead, get up there. Get up there, butterscotch. <coughs> I gotta get off this floor. Put my face right in it. Of course. 
of all the places. I have goats on my back. I can't see if they're there. Hi, baby. Okay, well, that is not for you. Okay, hey, you, Vanilla, you're gonna have to get off. I gotta stand up now. You gotta, you gotta get off. I'm gonna shake you off. Shake off. Shake you off. Come on. Down we go. There we go. Good job. No, Mama, not your bottle. All right. Yeah, so like I said, today I'm going to take all of these guys and put them out there in the fresh, nice air. And I'm going to clean this stall out. In fact, I'll probably take them out there now. Hello, little Andy. Ah, so I, I think I caught rumor. Lauren will have to confirm with me. But I think I caught a rumor that little Andy here has found a forever home. That he's getting adopted. He's going somewhere. So I believe, I, mean, I don't know when, and I, and I think that she said one other goat is going with little Annie, and I don't remember which one it is. So, you guys love little Andy. He's been, uh, he's been pretty, um, I guess, he's not the most popular goat on the farm, but he's pretty famous. A lot of people know him. Remember, he, had, he struggled for a while as a baby, um, and then I kind of... Had to bring him back. He actually is the only goat out of all my goats that ever had bottle jaw. So I had to figure that out. Um, use my medical um, stuff <laughs> and treat him for bottle jaw and we saved him. Frosty, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hi, Margo. Hello. Oh, gosh. Margo. Yes. We're saying goodbye to you. I don't know when you're leaving. We're saying farewell. <laughs> oh, she's she's not going anywhere. No, she's not. Hi, chicky, chicky, chickies. Excuse me. I think I'm going to figure out how to get Mama and the babies in there. This way, the weather's going to be nice. I hear it's going to be close to the 70s one of these days this week. Or in the 70s. Oh, hi, Macy. How are you? Thomas! You're feeling pretty good. Uh, I don't feel any... Any... Oh, that's my butt. Don't bite my butt. Yeah, so I guess this is the part you feel. Ow! Get out of here! That hurt! Stop it! He, he just waited the right moment for me to turn around. 60s today, 70s tomorrow. I'm going to need a good, solid way. Hi, Wilma and Betty. How are you? Hello. I'm going to have to get in there and get the water. Top off their water before I put the mama and the babies in there. Hi, Wilma and Betty. How are you guys? Oh, the birds are everywhere. Excuse me. Coming through. Oh, man. So, emotionally, guys, I am doing good. I am doing very good. I don't have any, any uh, side effects from any of the medicine. It's completely out of my system. So, I feel very good about that. Um, I don't, I'm just pretty, hey, 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 I'm just pretty neutral today. I'm pretty neutral. Hey, back it up. <laughs> I don't have anything to complain about. <clears throat> um, oh, guess what's happening this weekend? If you guys are looking for one of the coolest things to do in this area, Saturday is the Kutztown consignment auction it's an annual consignment sale they only do it once a year only once a year ah. I was cleaning this guy's ear eyes off while he gave me a chance to 
So I think I'm going to be bringing a lot of stuff to this sale. Uh, I've got to get my trailer emptied off my flatbed and I've got to weld something on it. I have a weld problem. Uh, maybe I bring it by Jim's shop. I don't know. Where's the end of the hose? Where's the end of the hose? It's lost. It left. Uh, it's right there. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, give me an opportunity to clean up the other farm and get rid of some of my junk. But if you guys got nothing to do, it's at the Kutztown Produce Auction. They're going to have everything from our farm, farm equipment to home goods. They got plants and plugs. They've got sheds. They've got vehicles. They got equipment. They got antiques. Um, it's an all-day event, so make sure you have... Why the hose? I have the hose hooked up because I started using it the other day uh, to clean off the floor when I scraped the floor down. I just haven't disconnected the hose yet. I really don't like it, actually, because look what happens. It causes more of a leak. I'll probably disconnect it. Hello, guys. Maybe it's Jasper that's going. I'm not sure. Yes, these are goats. We have lots of goats everywhere around. And chickens and birds. Yes, we do. Hi, guys. Hi, Margo. Hi, Joey. Hi, Billy. So they're still eating off of this uh, feeder here. We haven't topped it off yet. So that's been four bales there. And we had four bales over there. So that's pretty, pretty good. That's cool. My birthday is today, and happy birthday to you. Well, happy birthday, April, to you, and my birthday was already in March. Already passed. Listen, buddy, I'm not turning my back without looking at you, keeping my, my, my eyes peeled. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I got away from him. I got away from him. Ah. <sighs> What does this say? Andy and Vader. Vader. Oh. So Vader is going to his forever home with little Andy. All right. Good Good to know. Good to know. There's your water, guys. There's your water. The birds are coming in here. The only thing I have to do is figure out how to keep these dang, these other goats out of here. They're the ones that are annoying. They're the ones that are not going to leave Betty and Wilma alone. Be nice. Do not bite her. Don't bite him. Hi. Oh my goodness. This is a donkey right here. This is a donkey. <laughs> Hee haw. I get distracted in some of these comments, guys. <sighs> okay, uh, let's see. We've got a few goats in there and a bunch of... Woo! You didn't make it that high, did you? You didn't make it that high. I will feed y'all. See, look. Martina went in there and she's headbutting those two. I just don't understand why... Why they just can't get along. I'm going to kick Martina out of there. I need to get myself a blocker. Um, bear with me one second while I think about this. I know what to do. I know what to do. Problem solving time. Problem solving time. Let's go this way. Grab myself. Aha. Grab myself a bale of hay. Uh -huh. Yep. Coming back around the other way. It's actually straw, guys. Don't get confused. It's so easy just to say hay, and it's not hay. Straw is that golden color. You know what straw is? Straw is the stock of the crop. So hay is actually hay. Hay is grass. Hay is, is this. This is hay, see? Lots of gra grasses in there, right? This is what they eat, this is the food. 
straw is the stock of whatever crop was growing on top of it usually like wheat or something and then the, they come through with the machine and they cut the top of it off and all that's left is the stock excuse me excuse him on hey hey get out of there hey hey get out of there you are not allowed in this area this is going to be the mamas and the babies you guys move everyone move for a quick hot second move it move it move it This will only work until the donkeys destroy it and eat it up. Alright, now let's go get the mamas. Let's bring them out. The mama and the babies. We're coming for you, chocolate and vanilla. And butterscotch. And Lottie. Oh, little Andy, I know. You're not going to be able to jump inside the feed bin anymore. Hi, Mama Lottie. You coming first? Mama Lottie. Come on. Come on. Come on. Step out. Step out of the cage. There you go. You're first. Let's get you in there. Come on, follow me. Oh, you don't have a you have anything on. Come on, we're going out. We're going out this way. Just follow me. I'm gonna guide you. I'm gonna guide you. You're gonna be okay, I promise. Thank goodness you thought that heavy. <laughs> oh, that didn't work very well. The donkeys have already moved. Tail out of the way. Get in there. The donkeys have already pulled the bale out of the way. Oh, are we still here? We're still here. All right. See, there's there's a huge gap underneath. Not cool. All right. Uh, what was the start? Hi. 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 Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I won't see comments that people are making in YouTube, it's a separate. No, I can see YouTube comments. I can see YouTube and I can see Facebook comments. Let's see, the last YouTube comment I got was from Cooper BR or Crimson Dawn. Donkeys are really smart. What kind of bike do you have? Well, I don't own a bike. I have a Honda Goldwing in my garage right now do it on the other side correct and then I'll have to just climb the fence after I do that oh gosh yeah let me go do that now because the problem is mom is already trying to push herself out hey oh, put the piece of plywood over here well okay and here's the other problem though then the fence pushes this way I don't know what to do to make it perfect. There's no perfect scenario. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't want the babies escaping either. Like through the little cracks. Uh, Coming over, Lottie. <laughs> oh. Hi, excuse me. Oh. 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 
there we go. I don't think they can escape. I'll bring you something. I'll bring you something. I promise. I'll bring you something. I promise. Yes, I will. Hi. All right, Daddy's got to go back over. Thomas, don't you dare. Why are you waiting for me? Huh? It's 7:42 right now, 7:39. Yeah, it's it's getting uh it's getting late. It's all right. I mean, this is stuff I have to do anyway, so don't really bother me. Now we got to get the kids. Let's get the kids. <laughs> Show more comments. There we go. There we go. 5.42 a.m. in Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Are you near, like, I see, I, I don't know my geography on that too well. Are you near, uh, what do we call it? Roswell? I don't know if that's near Albuquerque. Or are you near, what is the other one? Um, Area 51? Carlsbad Caverns? Are you down that way? It's the only thing I can think of. Excuse me, guys. I'm bringing the baby out. I'm bringing the baby out. There you go. There's one. They get to spend the day outside. I really wish. I mean, come on. I've seen other barns. I mean, okay. I cannot complain. Whatever. I cannot complain. I have a beautiful barn. Right? And there's a door right there. But there's a stall right here with no door to the outside. I wish maybe one day we cut away the stone right here and we actually put in stall doors because I think it would be way better to have a door and opening from the stall right there because then I could even make a little outdoor run just for whoever's in that stall. <sighs> That's okay. I'm making it work. We're making it work. Donk, the, the, these goats are just such a mess. Do you remember Jeff organized all this? Yeah, they just jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Little Andy, it looks like you found the snacks, huh? It's not your snacks, and we will be locking you out of here today. Butterscotch, vanilla. Come on. Come on, girlfriend. Come on. All right, butterscotch is next. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. You ready? Hi. Excuse me, guys. The other one's coming. Don't worry. There you go. Oh, she jumped. She made it. And it looks a lot further down than it really is. It's totally okay. They're going to have fun. They got a little ramp that we put out there. A little bale of hay. I got one more goat to go get. They're going to have fun running and jumping. And the weather's going to be beautiful for it. Thomas, what did I say? I said back yourself up, buddy. No sneak attacks. If you're going to do it, just do it. Right on the finger. Go. Go, here. You want to do it? Just hit the phone. Just bite the phone. Come on. Just get it out of the way. Oh, gosh. Come on, go ahead. Do it again. Do it again. Come on. I'm allowing you to do it. Ow, oh, sucker. Not my finger. Hit the phone. Come on. Oh, gosh. That was rude. He just attacked a goat. I'm gonna put a rubber band on your beak one day. You okay, Molly? Let's see. 
He just he's on a rampage. He's on a ramp. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Out of my out. No, this is not for you. Turn around. No, you have your stall to go into. Out. Go. Shoe. Shoe. Wait, are we missing a donkey? Get your head out of here. I left that open for too long. Are we missing a donkey? Get out. Yeah, listen. Are you? Who are you? Fireman or Dorothy? Let's look underneath there for the junk. Dorothy. Come on, Dorothy. Hang a left. You actually listen pretty well. Let me open it up. Nope, 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 nope. This way. This way. These are miniature donkeys. Come on. Come on. Go. Go. Come on, you stubborn donkey. Move it. Get. Oh. <sighs> we got one more baby. Oh, one more baby to get. Took advantage of my kindness for one quick second, didn't ya? Didn't ya? Little Andy, little Andy. Pogo. Oh no. <gasps> there. Oh, come here, Vanilla. Sorry, I left the gate open. You got zapped, didn't ya? Come here. Come here. It's okay. Let's go. Come on, no, right, no, come here. Let me catch you. Yeah, I'm safe, I'm a safe. This is uh, baby's first time out here. Hey, 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 it's okay. Stop, that's not your mom. Willow is not your mom. Oh, gosh. That is not your mom. She looks very familiar, but she's not your mom. <laughs> come here, baby. Come here, gotcha. Woohoo. <sighs> Oh, your heart is beating as fast as mine is. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. You okay? Uh, it was just me. <sighs> All good. All good. Disaster averted. Ready? Set? Go. Your mama's there. Your siblings are there. You guys are going to be good for the day in here. You're safe. Everyone is safe. All right, what do we have next to do? Go put the feed away that was in there because... They're gonna just destroy that if I don't. Uh-huh, I know. Wow, Debbie McClare. She sent $5. Dave's cleaning his truck for a road trip this weekend. Someone excited about the auction. So Deb, and Dave are headed down from Connecticut to go to the annual consignment sale at the Kutztown Produce Auction. I guarantee you Dave's going to leave with some stuff. I promise you. Dave is going to leave with some things. Would you like some of this, Pogo? Here. I'll put it right here in the dish for you. I'll put it in the dish. Right here. 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 Right here. Look. Pay attention. There you go, Pogo. There you go, Pogo. I'll let you stay in here for a little bit and eat uninterrupted. Guess what just happened, though? My girls that were in here for the last four days, the hens, they are now not here. I bet you they're getting attacked by the female or by the males already. The roosters. Queso, I hear you over there. I hear you, buddy. I hear you. Hi. 
I'm coming to say hi. Hello. Hi, buddy. I can't believe nobody's racing you yet. I can't believe nobody picked you for a racer. How is that possible? You're so adorable and so cute. Ah, John says, thank you, farmer guy. This feed is awesome. Hey, you're welcome. My name is Justin, by the way. They call me Jay. Hi, Maisie. Hi, Maisie. Ah, uh, yeah, so this one right here is Queso. He's our smallest adult goat, Nigerian dwarf. I don't think he stands over 14 inches tall. I don't know. I'll have to measure him one day. Hi, I got food. I have wet food for you guys this morning. How's that? Wet food. Would you like some of the wet food? Uh, we only have four baby chickens today, guys. Only have four baby chickens today. So therefore, that means probably an aerial predator came down and got the fifth one. That's a shame. It's, uh, it's a shame. It happens. I'm going to run quickly back over to my tack room so I can get um, something better than... Well, you know what? That's fun. I'll do it here. I'll do it here. We'll use the nail that floats. You ready? <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. A little, a little finagling to do here, but... Can we see the net? Can we see? I lost you. Man, I lost you there. So you see this uh, this nail? That's how I'm going to poke a hole in all the cans. That's what I plan on doing. Let's set you guys up in such a way that you can see it. I think you can see that nail hole. I don't know. Got the camera turned around. But we're going to do one of these. We're going to get it started. Oh, oh wait. A little, a little faster. Drop it. And... We have to go left-handed. And... Oh, gosh. I gotta watch it. One day, one day I swear I'm gonna get this nail right in my finger. And you'll see, if you're new, you'll see why... What the heck? You'll see why I'm putting holes in the cans. You ready? It's because they're vacuum sealed in there and they're nearly impossible to get out. So do one of these things. Ta-da! It makes it so easy to get out. So yeah, man, oh my gosh. Yesterday was such a difficult day to try and feed the uh, feed the dogs. The goats were such vultures, they would not let Grayson or Millie eat. And that was, uh, I was sad about that. I was really sad about that because Grayson and Millie both were protecting their food before and they stopped doing it now. I don't know why. Woo! <laughs> Ten cans of food. Oh, who sent the two Chewy boxes? Chewy doesn't have notes. So we got two Chewy boxes in the mail with a bunch of uh, canned dog food, um, pedigree canned dog food. There was no message uh, or note. So if you are that person uh, and somebody sees that person comment, can somebody message my wife or let me know because uh, I'm not looking at comments right now. This way I can say thank you for the food. Okay, there we go. I'm making my dog food too right now. Alright, all right, good deal. Alright, let's head over to Maisie and Caesar. They live with the billy goats. Hi, Tegan. Hi, Brawny. 
I think somebody is racing Brawny. Oh, on top of old Smokey, my meatball fell down. I wish I knew the song. <laughs> no, 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 no. Watch your head. Watch your head. Watch your head. Watch your head. Here. You can have a little hay in your diet. It's fine. And here you go, buddy. Good morning. This is for you. Don't worry. The, do the goats do not like wet food. Water is good. Let's head out of the billy goat stall. <sighs> oh. Let me, uh, oh. what is going on? There we go. Comments I can read. They're back. Is Jeff on here? What you doing, Jeff? Oh, you know what Jeff's up to this morning? Jeff has to go get his CPAP machine. I bet you guys are excited about that because we're thinking of eventually doing some content with Jeff CPAP, my CPAP, and Joe CPAP machine. <laughs> Except I told him, I said he better wear it because they, they have a cellular device on it that will let them know if he's not using it and then he's going to get in trouble. Millie, I'm coming over here with your food. Here you go, girlfriend. Watch the dog. Watch, watch him eat that. Let's see. Let's see what happens. The goats, first off, don't like wet food. And second off, she's now protecting her food, probably because she's hungry. You're up next, buddy. Let's see how we do. Compared to yesterday, let's see how we do. Perfect. Let's see. <laughs> Look, they don't like it. <laughs> no, the chickens, the chickens on the other hand might peck at it, but the the goats will not. Nom 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 nom. Eat that up. Eat that up. Excuse me. I'm coming over. I'm coming over. Hello. Hello. How are you? Would you like yours? I'll just let you eat it right out of here. Uh-huh. Nom nom nom. Now this is one big ginormous dog right here. Hey kitty, how are ya? Welcome to the farm. Welcome to the 7-Eleven animal heaven. I know, look, there's the sun coming up bright. Yeah, there are, I can't see bumps, unfortunately. Bumps don't work when I'm streaming through StreamYard. I hear ya, oh my gosh. There's a mob of goats behind me. Yeah, that was Macy. Thomas! Back away! Back away, Thomas. Okay, I have to go upstairs, toss some hay down in here. Also, need to top off. Hey! 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 What did I say? Back up, buddy. Oh, gosh. <sighs> um, yeah, let's go up, toss some hay down into those feeders. Oh, guess what I can't do, though? I have a slight issue. I have a slight issue for this morning, but it's something I can fix. This feeder's getting close to empty. I hear that, and I want to just throw it out of there, but I want you to look closely. It's hard. I can't zoom. I'm not sure if you can see this. Look right there. There's a big screw, and right there, there's a big screw, so this door does not slide open. And we had to unscrew it over there so we could toss the hay into that feeder, but now I need to do the same thing here. Hey, BK lady. Tell April I said happy birthday to her. Man, the animal noises are crazy. Whoa, the animal noises are crazy. What time is it? It's 8 o'clock in the morning here in Pennsylvania. 8 o'clock in the morning. 
Hi, Hope. Hey, also, we weighed Hope and we weighed Oreo. Oreo's fatter. End of story. All done. Just because... See, Jeff thought it would be a fair thing. He put a tape measure around her. And then he put a tape measure around Oreo. Well, she was a little wider. But aren't most women wider at the chest? She's a lady. She's a lady. So then we put him on the tape on the scale, and uh, he's trying to say, well, men, men have more muscle than female. Oh, boy. All that wood. More wood. And there's the sheeps. I'll throw some hay down for you guys. Don't you worry. Pogo is crying. You hear that little high screech, high screech pitch? Come on. Come out. You didn't want to be in there. I get it. Come on. Come on out. All the way. All the way. I got to close the door, buddy. Thank you. <clears throat> Up we go. Up we go. Into the upper half of the barn. <sighs> Hello? <laughs> Where's my latch? There it is. There it is. Shed some light on the situation. See what's going on up here. Oh. The lights take a while to light up. But look, we got a tall ladder. And then I got another tall ladder too. I don't know what we did with that one yesterday. It's here somewhere. Got a tractor. Okay. Which door, which door doesn't open? It's this one right here. This one I can't get open. So let's bring a couple bales over here to the other side. There we go. But I wanna open that door way over there. That's what I would like to. Oreo is uh, 54 pounds and Hope is 45 pounds. There you go. How many turkeys do I have? I don't know. I don't know. Four or five. Let's break this hay bale open and toss it into the feeder down there. Get your necks out of there. I don't want you to break them. Good morning. How are you, Jill? How the heck did the tractor get up top like that? Adam, it's a bank barn. You can drive up to the other half over here. <laughs> it wasn't magic. Angela Hart sent a $20 super sticker. Thank you so much, Angela. That was awesome. Oh, I appreciate that. That buys me two and a half hay bales. <laughs> oh. Let's go. So I guess we have a couple new people on here. Probably, it seems like the YouTubers, people on YouTube are, are the newer people. Get your heads out of the corners, please. Especially you, Holly. Watch your head, Holly. Get it out of there. Thank you very much, Jane. I am I am feeling a lot more like myself. I will never take I'll never take those allergy meds again. Never ever ever. Well there went the bus and my daughter didn't get on. Hannah must have slept in. Uh Lexi Prince is new. How are you? Good morning. Heather Shot, we know you're not new. <laughs> Heather, we know Heather's not new. Uh, and Heather, look, Heather's watching from YouTube and not from Facebook. That's cool. Uh, let me fix my camera. I'm sorry. April Willis sent you the three cases. Teresa Minton, thank you for that. And April, thank you for the dog food. That was That's really generous of you. We know that pedigree is not cheap. It's a very nice gesture. 
how about y'all give me a like to this page? <laughs> y'all give a like to this page. Yes, yeah, Susan. Let them know. More men on YouTube versus Facebook. Really? Hey, Debbie's just trying Facebook today. YouTube today. Did Facebook give you the star money on the 5th? Uh, the payouts for me come through on the 21st. On the 21st. I will absolutely let everybody know. But from what it seems like, I absolutely will be getting the star money. Well, I know I'm going to... If I already made that star money, that's coming through. What I'm more worried about is whether or not they're going to pay out the subscribers. Uh, the paid membership for the... What? What? You were the noisiest thing on the farm. The noisiest thing on the farm would be a donkey. Wouldn't you know that? I hear the guinea hen. You know, when they said guinea hens were going to be loud, not even close to the donkey, I promise you. So if you have a farm or were considering getting guinea hens, they're not that bad. I could handle the guinea hens any day over the donkey. Although the donkey's entertaining because it's like, <laughs> and it makes you laugh. Top it off. Top it off. There we go. All right, I'll throw one more, two, two more bales down there. Unopened. Drag one to the inside. Drag. Oh, I mean, I got so many bales to distribute. Oh my gosh, I wish I could zoom in. The babies are zooming over there. You see them? Vanilla's running around the bale. Butterscotch is running behind mom right now. Chocolate was doing sidekicks. They're having fun over there. I sent a message about getting Apollo a doghouse. Can we gather money to get him a place of his own that's safe? Okay, so first off, if you look out there, I don't know if we can see it. Ah, I brought over a big doghouse. It's one of those igloos. It's for his own, it's for him. He doesn't go in it. It, it's, it could be pouring rain and he doesn't even go under the pig shelters. Now I have two very long pig shelters for the dogs, or for Apollo, so uh, I don't want to put a dog house over there. He won't use it. You realize Apollo is a Yugoslavian mountain dog. He is a livestock guardian dog. If anybody with livestock guardian dogs know, talking star planets, uh, Anatolian Shepherds, Great Pyrenees, all of those breeds, they're not going to go in your doghouse that you build anyways. They just don't do it. They'd rather be outside in the elements, sleeping in the snow, standing in the rain. I know it seems mean and cruel, and what you see here on the camera is you, you think I'm not giving him a spot to go. He has an igloo to get out of the elements if he wants to, and he has two very large uh, lean-to structures to get out from the rain as well so thank you i do appreciate the offer for putting together for wanting to put together a uh, a doghouse for him but it's not really going to work um it's just the way it is it's just the way it is it would be a waste of money i'm just being honest with you okay let's go over this way Toss a bale in here that's unopened. I won't open it up right here. Watch your heads. Incoming. I don't want to toss another one in because I'm fearful that it will roll off and crush a goat. <laughs> if it were a Shih Tzu poodle, then yeah, maybe. Probably would be an indoor dog then, most likely. We can come, we can come over this way though. Check it out. I can op open up this door. Need some WD for you. Woo! Sorry, did I scare y'all? My bad. 
We're a little closer to the babies over there. Oh, we can we can see them. Hold on, let's toss this over this way. Hold on, I need a little bit more. There's one. Let's give another one. Let's get another one, and then we're gonna go look at the babies from the top. Now I gotta go back down. <laughs> Here we go, and... Oh, I can't throw it, dude. You're in the way. I can't throw my bail, guys. You're in my way. I need another way to do this. Ah, 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 oh, it's like an optical horse. Ah, ah, ah. Anybody down there? No? All right, there's a way. Where there's a will, there is a way. There you go. Hope everybody gets to watch the solar eclipse today, because guess what? You ain't gonna see another one for 20 years. Not till the year 2044. So no matter where you're at in the United States, you're gonna get a chance to see it. You won't see a full one if you're not in the path of totality, but you will get a chance to see the solar eclipse no matter where you're at. So do take advantage of the fact of the rare event is happening today. Somewhere around the time between like noon and four o'clock across the United States. So obviously the further east you are, the later in the day it's gonna be. And it's typically only about a two or three minute window that the sun is going to be blocked out by the moon. So, yeah. We'll, we'll check these babies out in a second. I'm grabbing just a little bit more hay for the billy goats. And then I got to put some in the feeder over there. Although I'm debating on not putting it in the feeder inside the barn. I'm start, I want to start promoting the goats to go outside more often. Um, in fact, I'd like to get to the point where I can actually lock them out of the barn uh, for a week or two. I want to do a really solid cleanup on here. I want to, not that it's going to happen, but uh, even if I don't clean it up, if I lock them out of here and open the windows up and just let this place uh, air out and just be free of the, the goats for a little while, they have that huge overhang out there, so they'll be fine. And the weather is starting to turn to a beautiful summery temperature. Yes, indeed. Oh, Henny's out of here. Henny's out of here. Love you, Henny. Thank you for everything. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I love you. I love you. Oh, oh, let me put the hay in here. Let me put the hay in here. I think I grabbed too much hay. I'm trying to push it in there. Oh, oh yeah. Come here. Hi. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. Hey, Sue Badger. How are you? How are you, Sue? <sighs> America's Best Glasses has the Eclipse glasses. There you go, Christine Butler. Put it out there for you. If you're looking for the glasses, head to America's Best. You can also use your cell phone to view it. And if, if you're in the path of totality, you can just uh, take the cell phone away at the point of totality and you can indeed look directly at the moon blocking the sun here's the deal i read a statistic that it's very rare okay for well solar eclipses happen all the time uh well not all the time the next one like i said isn't happening until 20 uh 44 2044 so we have a while but it uh, only happens every 400 years where the path will go along the same path or near the same path. 
So meaning, if you're in Buffalo, New York, and you're looking at it, it will only be, it, it's, the rarity of it is that, statistically speaking, every 400 years, that particular place on the map will have a total path of, uh, a path of totality at the same time. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. All right, so we dropped that hay in there. Let's go drop some of this for Betty, Wilma, and Mama and Baby. And then we will be topping the rest of it off inside of the tall feeder. Ah, there you go. Kathy says four F W I W. What is that? Four Y. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. F W I W. Uh, you may have. <laughs> Would y'all like some too? Okay. You may have heard not to use your cell phone, but I want to tell you that is just a wise tale. It is not actually true. Because um, they're trying to tell you that it could damage your components inside of your phone. Take a look. I am looking directly at the sun right now at its full power, 100%. Right here, blaring at my phone. My internal compartments are not going to break. It's okay if you use your phone to look at the solar eclipse today, I promise you. It does not get any stronger when the sun goes in front of the, when the moon goes in front of the sun and it gets weaker. So you're going to be fine if you would like to use it. Did I move Martina? Martina moved herself. Uh, so there's the babies. Now look, we got Betty and Wilma over there. I'm wondering what they're going to do today. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's how you can tell that it's a boy. <laughs> Yippers. There you go. Uh, I'll go grab some more. You guys enjoy. You enjoy. You enjoy. Be careful of Trinity, though. Don't bite her. What is going on? What's the matter? I don't have a bottle for you. No, I don't have a bottle for you. I don't. Nope, I don't have any grains either. You have to eat hay like a normal, uh, you have to eat hay like a normal goat. A normal goat. Go ahead, go join your, go join everyone else. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're going over with more hay. I gotta get those other doors to open up for sure. There's a couple more that I would like to get opened up. Oi. <sighs> well, if you're new, if you're not a normal watcher, um, you can watch us from Facebook on Steinmetz Family Farm. You can watch us from Facebook on It All Started With A Little Hope, which I prefer you do over there but you can also watch us on youtube under steinmetz family farm we do post every single morning a live stream just like this 7-eleven animal heaven so be sure to join us it's a uh, roughly an hour to an hour and a half long uh, so if you got time to kill in the morning you can do that it's also available on replay so don't worry about that and please guys if you're not following or if you have not hit the like button or the subscribe button yet, please do that. Because that is the only way that our page is going to grow. Right? We need to grow on two platforms right now. We need to grow on YouTube, on Steinmetz Family Farm on YouTube. Because we only have a measly 6,000 followers, which I'm happy to have. I'm happy to have all of you. Right? But that dwarfs, uh, that's a very small number compared to our 311,000 followers over on Steinmetz Family Farm on Facebook, which all monetization is gone. Um, so, we need to grow the numbers in order to bring the monetization back. This way we can make a living doing content. That's our plan. That was our goal. That was actually 
not even a goal that was a reality for us we were making a living from social media and making content over there on the sff page with 311,000 followers but that has stopped so we are rebuilding ourselves um on all all the other different pages so join us every day okay every day oh uh, yeah i am always congested now so the medicine really hit me hard though to because i was prescribed all sorts of stuff to get rid of it put me into depression and now i'm kind of gun shy when it comes to any type of medicine so i don't think i'm gonna i'm gonna use anything i'll just deal with the runny nose i'll deal with the congestion it works itself out throughout the day so i'm okay with that here come here come here it's okay we, i let you know we love each other it's okay Ugh. There's a lot of meat on you, buddy. There's a lot of meat on you. Hi, Thomas. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Just say hi to everybody else. It feels, ah, get, let it go, 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 let my finger go, let my finger go, ow, ooh, it's like he hissed like a cat, it feels like brain, ah, it's in the same spot, it's like getting struck by lightning, ow, it's in exactly the same spot, I'm trying to tell everybody, it feels like brains right here, feels like brains, Right? <laughs> Ow. Alright. Same spot. That sucks. Speaking of sucker, I'm going to show you something. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. How did you get out? You better get back in there. How did you get out? Get in here. No more escaping. No more escaping. Patsy, that's not a waddle, that's a snood. The long thing on the top of a turkey's head is called a snood. Mm. Yeah, next time, Tom, you will be getting a timeout. Don't you worry. Thank you. Patty's with me. She agrees with me. <laughs> To tolerate, not medicate. Well, what do you want? Do you want to come in here? Come on. Come on, Pogo. I'll give you a special treat. Follow me in here. Come on. Okay, fine. You stay there. Eat your hay. What I wanted to show you was on my coffee cup, which is probably cold by now. You sucker. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, right. There you go. You can also watch the Eclipse on TV where they will be pointing their cameras at the uh, Eclipse. And you're going to see a lot of pictures of the Eclipse. So don't believe it when they tell you you can't use your cell phone. That's probably just the other side. They're trying to sell you the... Oh. Sorry, I got distracted. There's a squirrel in my cup. <laughs> There's literally, literally a squirrel in my cup. Um, yeah, use your cell phones. Okay.
that's how you do it right there. That's how you do it right there. Yeah, the girls did a great job on the room, didn't they? Amazing. Amazing. Let's see. Let's give up an orange. There's a shelf life on those. Caffeine down the hatch. Right. Does anybody like oranges over here? Do we have any orange uh, fans? Get some unprocessed honey, a natural antibiotic. Hmm, a local honey. <sighs> Maybe. The sheep will get uh, hay from the feeder over there. They come over and eat that. Macy, hey, fruits and vegetables for your babies? Anybody? Come here. I'm going to give you a bite. Let me see if you like uh, oranges. How about you, Pogo? Would you like an orange? Ooh, no. How about I get not the peel? Let's let's get you to the meat. Let's get to the meat of the things here. Notice the donkeys and the goats are living together. Remember when we got the donkeys? They told us that the goats could not live with them. Well, the donkeys have now. Occasionally, they still pick up a goat in their mouth. Uh, it's a rare occasion now, though. They are growing accustomed to living around the others. Right, I know the chickens will eat the, uh, peck the peels away. Oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot to feed the pigs and the chickens. We better go do that. I'm glad I put two and two together like that. Are you laying an egg? What's happening over there? See you, London. Gotta go. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm trying to get to the meat of the orange here for little Pogo. See if she likes it. Or he likes it. I always call her a she. But I think it's a he. I'm pretty sure it's a he. And then we're going to go spread the grains out. Feed the, feed the pig. Okay. What about you, Macy? Are you a fan? No. How is it that you guys don't like fruits and vegetables? No. Turned your head away to it. There you go. Eat an orange. It'll be good. Spit it out, didn't you? Try again. You will like. You'll be surprised. It's got a juicy inside. Come here. Come here. How about you? Want to try one more time? Pogo, how about you? One more shot? Y'all. Whatever. The chickens will eat it. <coughs> yeah, Pogo is a small goat. We'll probably stay stuggly forever. I wish Pogo were a little girl. Queso and Pogo could get together. <laughs> Heather, okay, let's see. I'm reading comments. I'm seeing we have 668 people on total. Good morning, everybody. Uh, let's go do the chicken feed and the pig feed. Let's do that. Let's make sure my gate is closed. Oh, and shut the light off to the tack room. You know what? I'm going to go through this way so I can shut the lights off and save myself some electricity this place is not cheap at all <laughs> how many lights are in here a lot of them there's a lot of lights up and down the bays <sighs> do i like burritos i love burritos <laughs> do you like burritos i take it you must lights off Hey, Whiskey. How you doing? Lights off. And we're good. Uh, Royal Bloodline. We are located in Pennsylvania. In Berks County, Pennsylvania. We have a goat farm with lots of goats. We have sheep. If you look out there, out there in the field... Ah, oh, okay. So, t so get this. <sighs> Just another thing on my list, but 
If you take a look in this pasture right here, there are one, two, three, four, five, five goats in this pasture. One, two, three, four, five. Not a single gate is open. The goats are either going through the gate over there or they're going underneath the fence all along the edge here. So, that's fun. That's fun. And the little baby chickens, look at that. They're starting to separate from mama more. We got one there. We got one over there. I'm trying to find the other way. One, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. We're missing one of them. One of the baby chickens. Yeah, the, key, the sheep are currently out there at pasture right now eating, uh, eating the field. So that's good. That's good for us. Going around to where the feed is at. Look at the dog. Lazy bum. Get to work, you lazy bum. Get to work, you bum. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Would you like out? Come on. Come on. There you go. <laughs> oh no we're about out let me double check one spot i'm about out of layered crumbles i'm gonna have to buy that in bulk um last time i went there though i was in a rush so i only grabbed four bags so i do want to go take a look though while we go in here i'm gonna show you a few things First thing I want to show you is over here is we've got the Honda Goldwing already in here. Maybe we can get that thing running. We've got the 66 Jaguar underneath all the blankets. I'm talking a beautiful 66 Jaguar. That's Joe's. That's his baby. We're going to keep it protected. Keep it protected. They're going to get the brakes fixed on that thing. Then we got all Joe's toolboxes in here. Toolbox, 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 toolbox. Oh. So we're going to spend a little time in here trying to organize all the toolboxes now. Hold on, hold on. It gets better. We got a random mishmash of stuff over here. Some ramps and jacks. And then my son started with his brand new uh, tool set taking motors apart. So he's disassembling motors on different things, on weed whackers and four-wheelers, and working on them. <coughs> I'm going to where I think the feed is at, by the way. Then you come in here. Now. <laughs> Hold on. Are you ready? Take a look at this pile. This is all Joe's stuff right here. We got saws. And yeah, remember, you thought there was a lot of stuff upstairs. This is 26 years of accumulation. Uh, so we're, we are going to go through and see what is absolutely needed. He's going to make the determination on what's going to be sold at our big yard sale in May. We're going to have a big old yard sale. More of his stuff. Now you come over here, and this is Mary's gardening stuff. We have all of Mary's gardening stuff. So our six-car garage has now become an entire storage unit for gardening stuff, tools, cars, as well as, I don't even know what's over here in this corner anymore. Ugh. I have my little tool section. This is my little area. This is all I need. I got a couple of goodies. Let me open up the garage door. I got a couple of my goodies over here. You know, your basics. You got your basic stuff. I got a hammer. I got a, a drill. I got an air compressor and just some other stuff <sighs> okay uh yep hold on i do have to take care of stanthony oh my gosh i can't believe i forgot about him anyways we are there's the bag let's go let's go uh, I, uh... That's coming. You have to have a little patience there. 
Have a little patience. Let's see, how do we open this up? It's coming. I need a little patience from you all. That's paper. Don't eat that. He's covered my phone up in, in the feet. Ah. 80 pounds at a time. You guys are animals. It's not a replay, Sally. I am still alive. Get hooked on phonics. What? Get hooked on phonics? Are we talking to me? I don't know who we're talking to. There we go. We wonder I put it along the fence there. It's because the chickens can stick their heads through and eat it, but the goats can't stick their heads through and eat it. Their nice long necks can get it. Oh my gosh! It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. Yeah. Now there's some <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six goats in this pasture over here. So oh, another one came through right there. Seven. Seven goats in this pasture. No, it's not for you guys. This is going to be a problem. Can already tell. No, Bailey, not for you. I'm sorry. Is your name Bailey? No, it's not. I don't even remember. Hi, chicky, 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 chickies. Hi, chicky, 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 chickies. <sighs> Thirsty much? Who's thirsty? Who's drinking? Who's drinking on the job? Come on pigs, get your food. Get your food. Come on. Come on piggies. What's that? Hang a long feeder on the end of the fence only for the chickens. Ah, uh, yeah, on this side of the fence. That's a good idea. Right. That might work. Because as long as the goats can't stick their heads into the feeder, that's not a bad idea. I like the way you think, Elizabeth. Obviously, your mama didn't give you attention. Got to the corner. What are we talking about? Is this the kind of mature talk and behavior that we have on here? Oh, you gotta love YouTube. <laughs> hey! There it is. It's quiet out. It's getting hot too. I have a piece of PVC uh, um, gutter that I will hang up along there. I love that idea. I think it's a great idea. 
I absolutely think it's a great idea. So I am going to give it a shot. One of the best ideas I've heard in a while. Jerk off started with me. <laughs> ah, Catherine, was I was I good at sports? Um, all right, a little bit about me and sports, and then I'm going to get off of here. We're going to go look at the babies real quick. I'll talk to you on my way over there. Uh, I didn't play sports until I was in high school, right? I didn't do any junior high sports. Apollo, get out of there. That is not your food. Get. Oh, boy. Okay, this is not okay. You see, this is not okay. You need to get out of there. Pigs, you better finish it up really quick. Hey! Oh, really? Hold on. I can't tell you about my sports right now because I have to save a goat's life. I have to save a goat's life. They can't eat chicken feed. They can have a little bit of it, but as soon as they have too much of it, they will get bloat and they will succumb to it within a few hours. Are you kidding me, guys? <sighs> ah. Okay. Well, now we have bigger, we have bigger issues today. No, stay out of the chicken feed. Now I'm gonna just smash it into the ground, guys. Oh my goodness! How did they all get over here? They've all figured it out. Guys, jeez, I didn't start sports until ninth grade, played basketball on the JV squad, on the, oh, on the, sorry, are you a fainter? I'm sorry. You must be partial fainter. You hit the ground and went over. You got stiffened up. That might make sense a little bit about Stetson. Definitely seems like a little bit of a fainter. But then I played baseball. Oh, I didn't really like the people on the baseball team. I really like to throw balls. <laughs> I was a pitcher. And then I ended up switching from pitching and I went over to the track and field and I started throwing the javelin. And I became really good at the javelin and I ended up going to the state finals with my javelin uh, throwing. That was fun. That was fun. Oh, look. You just went right back under, didn't you? I can't do this. I am not, I'm literally not doing this. You suckers. Pigs, hurry up and eat your food. It just went right under. I'm done. The pigs are eating their food. Honestly, I there's only so much I can do right now. Only so much I can do right now. Uh, let's move on. move on. They'll eat it up real quick. It'll be gone. But I was always very competitive. I was always very competitive. Wow, we have 711 on. It's called the show. Its title of the show is called 711. Let's go look at the babies, see how they're doing. Baby goats. Butterscotch, vanilla, chocolate. Hello. You're okay. Betty and Wilma, you're okay. These are not the baby babies. These are just the babies. No little crusty nose. It's okay. They're working through it. Zoomies! Here's the zoomies. Hi. Now these are the baby babies. There's... 
They got the zooms. I guess you do. They love it outside. I don't have any baby piglets to give you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Leanne says, you were competitive? No way. Yeah, still am, obviously. Good morning, Laura. How are you? <laughs> I have to go to... Cranky little guys, yeah? Hello. Hello. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for joining me today. I have my work cut out for me today. I have that trailer I still haven't unloaded. I have the, um, obviously, the fencing situation. I need to figure out how to keep goats from getting from one pasture to the other. I want to open that door up there. I want to clean out the stall. I need to get to the other farm and feed the cows. Um, quite a big, long list. <laughs> All of that, and then I have to work on the bathroom at some point. <laughs> oh, I don't even know how it's all getting done, which is okay. I'm fine with it. This, oh, also, I can't even get my, I can't get this off of the trailer. This is my dingo, my TX-1000. My dingo ate your baby. <laughs> But I can't get that off right now because the weld joints right here, this is what, there. here's the problem. The weight of, this is just hammered back together, but the weight of that machine, which is about 3,500 pounds, sits on a ramp that sits on this. And the only thing holding it up is this very thin piece of metal that actually is broken out and gone. See that? And yesterday it opened up completely and I just hammered it back in place to get home. So I want to get that fixed. I want to get this trailer unloaded, but I think I'm going to have, I got to get the back of my truck unloaded, but I do believe that I need to take my trailer someplace to get it welded before I even attempt to take the machine off of there. Yes, indeed. Yes, and diddly do. I definitely always have my work cut out for me. If I had a hill to do so, I would, but I do not have a hill in the right angle to back it up and get the dingo off. I don't have that luxury right now. Uh, okay. Yeah, anyways, there's the Chewy boxes, so I can't remember what your name was. I'm sorry, I forgot already. I think it was April. April sent us the Chewy boxes with the six cases of, uh, of dog food. Thank you very much for that. Ah, Flanders. See you later, Heather. Bye. We don't have baby pigs on the farm, just adults. Very true. I'm going to read a couple of these comments real quick. Uh, Pop Cat. I cannot have a kangaroo. You need an exotic. I have to turn into a zoo at that point. We are a farm. Thank you, Virginia. Appreciate that. Leanne Kane, absolutely. Yes, Jane, appreciate that. Little steps, baby, baby steps. Can you take it down the opposite way by unconnecting it from the truck? Uh, yeah, but that means I would have to hand offload everything to make way for it. So that's nice. Mindy, bye. I hope you go live today. I think you're in the path of totality for the, for the, solar eclipse today so i want to watch it on your i would like to watch it on your uh, live stream if possible <laughs> uh there's no rust on the dingo yet i don't see i mean other than the forks but other than that it's all painted so you're not seeing rust you're seeing dirt on there there's a lot of dirt but it's not rusted <sighs> how far is the new place from the old it's uh 15 minutes Nah, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Oh, it's going to be cloudy in Buffalo. Let's just hope that it clears up for just a second. Right? 
Sandy Raggleslash. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Ragstale Lash. Oh my gosh, you're a new subscriber. Thank you. Appreciate that. P diddy 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 do. I like my C. Good for you. You're awesome. <laughs> oh man. Oh, the trailer is definitely rusty. The trailer is a rust bucket. We know that. <sighs> yes, the grass is very green. I would love to try to figure a way to put the animals out there. Less mowing. I have thoughts. I have very... I don't have enough time. I don't have time. I know Jim Welds. Absolutely. But there's a very, there's a local weld shop that I could just drive up to and he could probably fix it in five minutes for like 10 bucks and he could do it right on the spot. I don't know. <sighs> bye Scarlett. Bye Marsha. Bye Sally. I'm taking off. I'm done. So I'm going to go find out whether or not my daughter slept in because I saw the bus leave. Now, unless Lauren took the Jeep, which is on the other side of the house and dropped her off at one of her morning classes i have no idea so hey i'm out of here thanks i'm gonna keep talking if i don't go so i got a lot to do see you guys thanks again see you tomorrow morning 7-eleven animal heaven have a great one um signing off from the steinmetz family farm in pennsylvania